Yo Ha ha Milk Nipple said Off to this queue. Let's see if we can get these shoes. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Yes. All right. I'm in the queue. Through the queue to put the information in. Oh, about to get my easy. All right. Supply. All right. Come on, come on. Come on. All right. Purchase. De what? Decline. What is decline? What, what is that? German before I got it? Alright, 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 come on, come on. What's that? Can't be a mistake. I got like nine cards. Okay. Come on, come on. The bots and the resellers get it. Uh. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me. Declined again? Oh. <sighs> Must have these shoes. Alright. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Mel Nipperson coming back with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your boy on the channel. We are trying to get the channel up to 1K so we can get that big prize giveaway out and out the way. Now, your boy Mel Nipperson is back in the year 2020, and I wanted to get this video out precisely just because there's a lot of people that jump on yeezysupply.com, and we all have that impulse buy because we want to get the favorite shoe or the coveted shoe for that month, for that week, for that day, whatever the case may be. Sometimes, unfortunately, you're not able to get it because you see what? Credit card decline. Now, <laughs> that could actually go one or two ways. It could easily be the, the merchant that you're using, meaning you, you're using whatever credit card or bank card that you're trying to use and it's not going through with the bank side, or it could be yeezysupply.com themselves declining you from getting your purchase. Now, you'd be surprised why your card or your transaction, when you get to that screen, you're trying to fill out everything, you think you're going to get that purchase, and unfortunately, you get hit with that decline. What I typically do, the first thing is what I do is while I was Whatever card I'm going to use that day, I'm calling that merchant the day before, letting him know, look, if you see an odd number of purchases coming from easysupply.com, that is me, and I'm authorizing that to go through. What this does is, if the bank sees these purchases going through, tell her whoever notates on the account, or the rep, notates on the account that we spoke to this guy before, he said he was going to do these purchases today, there's no you know, controversial purchase you don't have to worry about them saying oh man they're gonna shut down my card none of that stuff take care of that stuff the day before you're going to go on easysupply.com to avoid any riffraffs sometimes the cards themselves whoever the, the, the business is they'll actually suspend purchases coming specifically from easysupply.com so you don't want that to happen but <laughs> the second reason why you're getting declined it's gonna blow your mind You'll see right here the video display of when you're making a purchase on easysupply.com. Keep in mind, there's only one, and I mean one little checkbox that'll keep you from making your coveted purchase. What I mean by that, see that right there? <laughs> what happens is when you have a billing address, right? A billing address has to be the same as the shipping address. That is false. And the reason why I say that is because once you uncheck this, this allows you to bill at one address and then ship to another. 
And this is actually common. It's not uncommon because most businesses, they support this simply for the fact that, let's just say, your billing is your address, your home address. But you're going on vacation for two weeks and you will rather them ship it to a location at your vacation so you can get the shoe. Or if you feel like you wanted to ship it at work because you'll feel like the home address is not the ideal location you want that box shipped to. You'll have it shipped there. So the theory of, well, you got to have the address and it has to be the same as the... Throw that out the window. Uncheck this. And I'll tell you right now, because it's so small, it's, again, you're so caught up in that impulse buy that you typically skip over. And a lot of people have what? Autofill configured. Everything is all pre-done. So all you have to do is just quick, 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 I'm done. Without unchecking this, this is what's going to decline your purchase. So make sure those two things, call your merchant, whoever your card, credit card, bank card that you're going to use to make these purchases, make sure they know, hey, this is not going to be an odd purchase. This is me authorizing to make these purchases on the card for whatever date, release date and time it's going to happen on. A, and then B, <laughs> this is the most important. That's why I say like the bots, that's cool. But unfortunately, it's not going to account for the fact that you have to uncheck this. And maybe you can build this in your script. That you have to uncheck this, especially if the billing address and the shipping address are going to be different. So your boy, Magnificent, I hope that it's helpful. I wanted to basically help out the Yeezys community because I know there's some Yeezys that's about to come out. Hopefully this January. I'm not sure. I know he's not done with that biblical pack. So I believe it's another shoe that's supposed to come out as well. Your boy, Magnificent, I am out. I hope this is useful to you and you guys stay blessed.